Today, I am going to teach you business that you never learned in school. We know the four basic values of the marketing mix that you learned in business class. Product, place, price, and promotion. And sometimes your business instructor taught you the other values of the marketing mix. People, process, and physical evidence. There is another value in the marketing mix that you did not learn in business class. Low expectations. Examples of low expectations are inflation, gas prices, and severe promoter rates are examples. Using immoderate language, competition, trademarks, patents, copyrights, licensing, contracts, selfish exclusiveness, trade secrets, fees, tariffs, embargoes, notices, carelessness, and aggression. To tell you the truth, using the corruption of low expectations is successful and legit in the business world. And to tell you the truth, businesses can get away with it. The first ridiculous strategy in the business world is using immoderate language to the public. The phrases, this parking is for customers only, violators will be subjected to towing at owner's expense. Business X is a registered trademark of Business X. Duplication is strictly prohibited. It is used with permission. It is used under license. No trespassing. And... Violators will be fined and slash or will be prosecuted are examples of immoderate language. I cannot believe that authorities permit to broadcast the bullying that I mentioned. The second ridiculous strategy in the business world is filing intellectual properties and licensing. Most businesses, including the best of the best businesses, Keep on filing intellectual properties to produce more money for them, to produce hopelessness for present slash future generations, and to hurt innocent people. There are too many trademarks, too many patents, and too many copyrights. Because of this, there will be no more material hope for the entire population. Most businesses, including the best of the best businesses, care about money more than people. This is when royalty fees are activated to buy hope, also known as the no money, no hope policy. In business class, your business instructor taught you that intellectual properties are intangible assets. How can intellectual properties are intangible assets? I think that intellectual properties are intangible pride and intangible greed because businesses are increasing their pride like selfish kings slash queens, thus leaving other people with misery. According to intellectual property notices, I think that some Christian businesses have some selfishness inside by supporting intellectual property laws on Christian resources and on other things because we still have sinful natures in us according to John chapter 3 verse 6 and there is no such thing as a perfect Christian because there are times when born-again Christians sin. What happened to Romans chapter 12 verse 10 and to 1 Timothy chapter 6 verses 17 to 19? The stupidity of ideas comes from man, not from God. You cannot put a price on hope and slash or on friendship. You think that intellectual property laws protect 
respective owners, but subliminally, intellectual property laws contain selfishness for the respective owners. And material hopelessness and material death for the people who do not file the intellectual properties. For more information, please listen to my editorial Tribulation of Intellectual Property Laws. Part 2 will continue next time.